tennis court where the NEU men's team is red hot as of late. Over the weekend, they took their four-match win streak to Southern Utah for a clash with the Thunderbirds. And the Jacks were able to make easy work of Southern Utah as they would sweep them 7-0. Lucas Taylor and Felix Schumann dominated in singles play for the Jacks. And with just two more matches left in regular season play, the Jacks are poised to finish strong as they head towards the Big Sky playoffs. They currently sit in fifth place with a 7-3 conference record. Next up is a trip to GCU on Saturday where they will look for their sixth straight win. As for the women's team, they hosted North Dakota on Saturday for their final home match of the year. And much like the men's team, they had no problems either. They would sweep North Dakota 7 to nothing. The Jacks currently sit in the top spot in the Big Sky Conference with a 9-1 record. And you will have some time off before their final match of the year when they travel to Southern Utah on April 23rd. And now to the NAU track and field team. They were down in the valley or down in Tucson over the weekend participating in the Jim Click shootout. And while the entire NAU team was very consistent across all events, it was the women's 4x400 team that stole the show for the Jacks. They were able to break a 17-year-old NAU record by less than half a second, giving them the best time for that event in the Big Sky. The relay team of Malone, Taylor, Maxi, and Fatanos finished in 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Sprinter James Fisher also had himself a day as he took home first place in the 200 with a sub 21 second time. That is a new personal best for Fisher and good enough time for first in the Big Sky and 19th in the nation. The new track and field team will be back at it on Thursday when they travel to California to compete in the Mount Sac relays. And then also over the weekend, some more baseball news. Any club team took on the ASU team and they beat them 2-1 to one in the series of three games. So pretty good weekend for them.